Hey guys, good morning, and I mean morning. It's 3.30 a.m. Oh, I just got up. I'm sitting on the patio. Can you see her pants? My little kitty pant is here with me. One of them is never very far from me. And, uh, oh, I think I had a bit of a, a heat event yesterday. I'm up now. It's, uh, 29 degrees at 3.30 in the morning. It says it feels like 34 because of the humidity. I got my coffee in my Yeti cup. These cups are great, by the way. They, they keep your coffee warm forever. And they keep, and then in the heat of the day, you can put a ice water or a Coke or a beer or whatever in there, and uh, it'll keep it cold for a long time, too. Uh, so anyway, yesterday I met uh, Jeff and Sue from Oregon and I kind of showed them around town and it's not like me I, I never really thought to film any of it and then we took a break on the Malacan and I uh, just like I was alone I whipped my phone out and started making a clip and I realized that I hadn't even asked them so I stopped filming thinking no, we'll film more later and talk about it and never did get around to that just uh, whew. So I don't think I was thinking too clear I think it was like, even when we set out yesterday at 7 a.m., it was already hot and sticky, and, and we walked quite a bit, and uh, just uh, didn't feel like I was myself. And then I came back home. I was going to work on my book, and Lapita was here, and Jeff and Sue met Lapita, and that was very nice, and didn't think to film that. Bloody hell. And, uh, and then Jeff and Sue went home, and Peter said to me, I'm warning you, I'm going to turn the oven on because i got to make some empanadas for an order right now. When she turns that oven on, when it's already 32 degrees in the house, man, it gets hot in the house. So I kind of delayed writing the book, and I sat here and uh, sat on the patio and looked at my phone and tried to figure out more about how to upload a book to Kindle Direct Publishing and did a little research, and but boy, it was hot sitting on the patio. Anyway, finally, Lapita finished up her order, and she left to go out and deliver them to the lady that wanted them, and it's very near her daughter, so she was going to visit her daughter for a couple hours. And uh, I went to work on the book. I wrote for about an hour. It was okay. And then I started writing about a man I met down in Peru, and our meeting was like epic in my mind he, he's a legendary guy online uh, for motorcycle travel and I realized as I was getting into it and writing one or two paragraphs I just wasn't doing him or the meeting or the way I felt or anything justice and I rather than dig myself a big hole that I gotta rewrite I just stopped and uh, I came back up here sat down it's hot and uh, so about six in the evening I get in the shower you don't get a cold shower here. We, we only have cold water. Well, we have an electric hot water heater, but you don't need that in the summertime. I get in the shower, the water's about 90 degrees. It kind of gets you wet, but it doesn't really refresh you. And I came back out here and sat down and looked at a couple of videos online. I went to bed at quarter to eight. I just couldn't take anymore. I was just so tired of being hot. I went to bed, turned on the AC, and I slept. I never heard a sound until about 2 a.m., and Lapita had come back like 8.30 or something from her visit with her daughter and never heard her come in, never heard, never heard a thing. I'm just dead to the world. So I don't know if it was a little bit of a heat event or what, but people often ask, what's it like living in the heat in Mazatlan? It can be taxing and you have to be careful. And that's why I tried to leave early yesterday morning, but even that sometimes, mm. So... I think this is going to be my video today about living in the heat in Mazatlan. I'm going to try and take advantage of the relatively cool 34 degree temperature this morning to fix the chapter I was writing yesterday. Oy. And uh, maybe not go for a walk today. Maybe just take it a little easier. Let's we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I appreciate you all watching. I couldn't believe it this morning when I opened up my uh, YouTube and there was a message from a gentleman who just found my channel. And he lives in St. John, New Brunswick, my hometown. Well, that's cool, because uh, on the east coast of Canada, not very many people have even heard of Mazatlan. They, it's just, it's, it just doesn't enter the, into the equation when people are thinking of going to a holiday down south. So his name is Drew. Welcome aboard, Drew. 
and uh, I'm looking forward to maybe having some more New Brunswick viewers. That would be cool. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a really good day. I'm going to try to here. Thank you for watching. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.